Okay, lawn fans, you ready? So, I did a cut today, um, and I'm doing my nightly, well, not nightly, but I'm doing a round of weed pickup. I don't know if you can see down in there, but I got some, I call it fireweed. Picking up some fireweed, some poana. Let me show you something down here, now that I'm talking about poana. Um, it's a big runoff right here. A lot of water comes down through there when it rains, and it's the last bit of grass to fill in um, right now because the amount of sunshine that it does get. But I get a lot of poe in, or in right there and along the sides right through here. The reason why I get that is like I said, there's a lot of water runoff. Um, I think it strips the uh, pre-emergent out um, or any type of additives. I put the soil out quicker than it does in other areas. And so I just have to keep up with it. Um, I come through here and I just hand pull the weeds. I, Tonight I'm enjoying a Yingling Golden Pilsner and I'm walking around the yard just picking certain type of winter weeds that I may see. Um, and then in the backyard today, I also went through with the cutter and I ripped it apart back there today and I overseeded it. I just got so much poana in the yard. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna show y'all something. Let's walk over here to the neighbor's yard. They don't follow YouTube, so or lawn stuff on YouTube, obviously. But I'm gonna show you something over here. This is where my poe is coming from this year. Over here. And if you look at it, they've got it all down through here and it's growing kind of out of control down through there. And believe it or not, they have lawn company that they use. And I don't know if this guy was late with his applications or what happened, um, seed sprouted or, or what, I don't know. But it's out of control, it's blowing over here to my yard. And I've had a, let's say a more than usual amount of poe in my yard this year and I think it's because of that. But, so, if you've been following my channel, you'll remember that I had a honeybee problem up here on this corner. And they are all gone. The guy left the trap there for about two weeks and then came back and picked it up. It was right there on the corner where the uh, masonite siding meets the brick and they're gone out of there. These azaleas right here on the front of the house, they have been late to bloom and I don't know if I'm gonna get many more blooms off of them because we had a late frost this year, very late frost. But for some reason, it didn't hit this azalea right here. And she is blooming beautiful. That, I'm gonna go over here to the back side of it. That is probably the best that I have ever seen her bloom since we've been here. Take a look at her right there. Since I talked about the backyard, let me drop my bucket here of weeds. Since I talked about the backyard, let's go out here and I'm gonna show you what's been going on out there. Um, to all those people that tell you to do not blanket spray Bermuda, don't do it, but I'm gonna show you right here. Let me try to get out of the sunshine. I don't know if you can tell right there, but this Bermuda, I blanket sprayed it because there was so much poe up over here. I used some cheap, cheap, cheap annual rye seed and that crap was full of poa. And so basically I had a poa yard back here for my dog to do his business in during the winter. So I just went through with some Roundup and I sprayed it all off and killed everything and Bermuda's, Bermuda's popping right back up. Backyard here, same problem. I had POA everywhere. I'm talking everywhere. And it was beyond me saving. So I came through, I let it grow high. When I say I let it grow high, I bet I let it grow up six inches. Came out here with some Roundup, sprayed the tips of all the POA that was out here. It was up higher than the fescue and it killed a lot of it off. I can live with uh, what it didn't kill, but it killed a large majority of it off. Um, and so I came out here today, shaved it back down after um, all the dead POA was done with. Then I came through with the verticutter, um, verticut this thing up four different ways, had some seed I put down Ran the verticutter up on top of it to get it down into the soil and raked it in some too. Put some um, 
root growth stimulant out on it and I put some humic out on it. It's already got a starter fertilizer out here with a weed preventative in it. So hopefully that's gonna help me. The only weed I had coming up back here was the pumpkin, believe it or not. So I've got a neighbor that really doesn't like to do yard work beside me too. And so that's another problem I have to come. But I'm gonna wait on the sprinkler to get by me here. I'm trying to show you guys the azaleas I got back here. They're doing really nice this year. I stayed on top of them. I got out um, a, a organic fertilizer early on this. As you guys know, my channel now, I'm trying not to name names of products because I'm not a sponsor affiliate. I don't do any of that mess. I'm just gonna try to tell you guys what I do and what works for me and you can find your products. But, some beautiful area there of azaleas. Here's another one. These are two different types. I think one of them is a coral and I can't remember what the other one is. I transplanted the small one here last year. Um, I had a dog that chewed up on it some and so it really stunted the growth on it. And here's another one. I call these my monster azaleas here. This one's been transplanted for two years now and she is coming in nice. And then these got hit hard by a frost and they are not gonna bloom this year. And that is unfortunate. But they're in an area that just got hit hard by the frost. But that's the backyard for now. It's been overseeded. I didn't use anything special. I used a big box store. That's a really good grass seed um, for a tall turf type fescue. Um, and I looked at the percentage of weed seed in it and it was almost zero. So I went with it backyards for go front yards for show so back here basically i just don't want weeds and i don't care poa I, but i don't care what kind of grass i can get going back here i know the bermuda wouldn't grow back here so i went with tall turf type fescue um we're here in this house maybe another five years so next year i may kill it off and and try something else some uh, zoysia zinnia what do you call it zinnia zoysia or whatever may try it but that's it just want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on in the yard so picking weeds tonight hand picking i'm not spraying any type of herbicides out on that front yard to get the fireweed and some miscellaneous weeds that are out there um in the backyard here it's a, a redo um let's see here showed you the poa over there on the neighbor's yard nothing i can do about that those weed seeds are going to blow over here into my yard no matter what so i just got to make sure that i keep a good barrier a pre-emergent down and deal with it as i can um, hand picking and maybe spot spraying a few areas so that's pretty much it bermuda brine out